it has begun. So, how's the life of an ex-angel suiting you? Can't complain. Sex is no longer off limits. Right, of course. Well, what can I say? Cut the light in front of me. You shouldn't give them so many reasons. You know, there are rules. Come on, Barbara, I just did my job. I was the best at a light gun. Now I have to get by like any other unemployed human being. It's pretty cold down here, you know? Is it? Right. Everlight took away your powers. You're not an angel anymore. Did you... Um... Do you ever... What? Do you ever miss... Uh, never mind. Look, I have something very important to tell you. There's been a... Hold on a sec. Yeah? Mr. Lennox. So, you're still alive. How convenient. Who is this? Your salvation. If you survive, meet me at East Road Cemetery. Then? Forgive me, Ryan. Now run! Get out of here now!
works. I presume you've guessed by now who it is you're talking to. I've got some theories. One of them says you're Lucius Black, head of the Abyss Agency. Other lights in life form and mortal enemy arranges a meeting in a cemetery. I'm very thoughtful of you. Enemy? Why would you call that someone who's here to save you? Save me? Well, look at you, all helpful. I never have thought salvation was up your alley. You know better than to presume this is charity work. I'm here because I believe your current unemployment to be a terrible waste of potential. It was foolish of Etherlight to take their top player out of the game. And you thought you'd get me to switch teams and play for your sign instead, just like that? Dead right, kid. You could be back in action. Feel real power cursing through your veins. This power! Why don't you spend the fires? I'll impress you around the boys. My agents are not very impersonal at the moment because they're all dead. I want you to work for me, Lennox. Yes, and I really want to end up like the rest of your boys. Damn you, convincing. Starting to test my patience. But that big mouth of yours won't stop your former employees from putting a bullet in your brain. Ah, oh, you didn't see it coming? The ambush in the bar? Etherlight sees you as a threat that needs to be eliminated. Fast. I, on the other hand, am presenting you with an opportunity to repay Adelaide for sentencing you to be an ex-angel with interests. Surprised? I'm your only option for survival. Is that all you can offer? And think of all that power you'll have. Or maybe you get a real kick out of being a puny mortal. Sure, I get to wear those cozy woolen sweaters. And mittens. Mittens rock, you should try it. But you have a point here. Let me consult Mr. Dollar here. Charity. Hey, Black. Show me my new powers. Assuming I get there intact, what do you want me to find there? Well, my top agent was killed there and... Man, you're really great with inspirational speeches. Listen, before they shot him, he managed to pass on some exciting information. Apparently, a certain scientist named Wolf stationed in the cloister is developing a technology that I'm extremely interested in. I want you to scout the facility. 
Agency for any information on the project you can find. Okay, that wolf character. Wolf is in the big bad. Wolf is pretty harmless. His assistant though, Donna Zubrov. She's no little red riding hood. That much I can tell you. Watch your back. Sure will. The fairy tales tend to have bloody endings. I will contact you about your progress over the communicator. Right. Can't wait. you here, sir? This place is godforsaken. The whole world is godforsaken, Grandpa.
see what you mean. Over and out. Sir. Everything's all clear. Nothing suspicious, sir. No entry under any circumstances. Yes, sir. like the cloister basement. Find the way up to the main grounds. Yeah? Progress report. I had a small encounter with a guy in monk's robes, but we didn't get a chance to talk. He kind of died on me before proper introductions. Why would I ever want to do that? To heal your wounds. I find it rather enjoyable. See for yourself. That way you gain energy and search dead bodies. Cool. And weird. Which pretty much sums up my life.
We've got intruder alert! Contact Kruger immediately. Tell him to double the guards in the railway cable station area. You really think anyone could get that far? We'd better not risk taking chances. And if someone manages to get to the upper monastery... Then what? And we're all dead. Seems like we really have an intruder in the house. Who's guarding the cable station? The boss. Oh yeah? No happy ride for our guest then.
looking good. There's another section of the monastery up on the hill, just a cable car right away. I need to get rid of some big shot monk at the station first. So why aren't you there yet? Are you scared? More stuck than scared. Don't waste my time, Lennox. Get up there, now. Oh, bitchin' boss. I'm on my way.
laser block tunnel. I think this is where some of your tricks could come in handy. So, you do need my advice after all, Lennox. About as much as you need my help, Black. Fair enough. One of the powers I gave you is teleportation. Use it carefully. It's tricky and can be dangerous in a beginner's hand. Well, your concern for my well-being brings tears to my eyes. I suppose it uses up a lot of mana. Shadows! Show yourself! I'm comfortable right where I am. Thank you. Let there be light then. And we'll see how comfortable you feel. Shadow creature. Handle would be more accurate. He's dead. <laughs>